Tell me children, why should we use punctuations? Punctuations are used to make the written sentences as clear as possible. Vinod, do you know the usages of full stop? A full stop indicates the completion of a sentence. Example, this is an ugly animal. Full stops are also used in abbreviations. Example, this car has been imported from USA. What are the uses of comma, Nivya? A comma is used to separate items in a list. Example, here are two cows, two horses, two dogs and one tiger. The commas are also used to separate a direct quotation from the statement. Example, she asked, are these boys from KK school? And the comma is used to mark off a noun in direct address. Example, Gopal, here is your pen. Jenny, you tell about colons and semicolons. A colon is used to separate two statements when the second statement explains the first. Example, I was late to school today. I could not catch the bus and I had to walk. A colon is also used before a list. Example, the running race results are as follows. Suresh first, Ramesh second and Peter third. Semicolon is a punctuation mark which gives a larger pause than the comma. A semicolon is mainly used between two main clauses. Example, the car stopped, John got in. An apostrophe is used in the possessive form of the nouns. Example, the cat is in Sheila's arms. It is also used in short forms. Example, I will go home. Here, I will is the short form of I will. The capital letters are used at the beginning of a sentence for the personal pronoun I and for a proper noun. Example, this is Ravi who suggested what I should study. Can any one of you tell me when question marks and exclamation marks should be used? The question marks are used at the end of direct questions. Example, which is the taller of the two? The exclamation marks are used at the end of the sentences which express surprises and strong feelings. Example, my God, how beautiful these plants are. The quotation marks are used to show the actual words used by the speaker. Example, Peter said, I like ice cream. Note the quotation marks. Children, do you know about voice? Yes, Grandpa. There are two kinds of voices. The first one is the active voice and the second one is the passive voice. When the subject is the doer of the action, the sentence is said to be in active voice. Example, the cat caught the mouse. Here the subject cat has done the act of catching. So this sentence is in active voice. When the subject receives the action, the sentence is said to be in passive voice. Example, the mouse was caught by the cat. Here, the subject mouse receives the action of catching and hence the sentence is in passive voice. Children, some changes have to be made when an active voice is turned into a passive voice. Look at these sentences. Columbus discovered America, which is an active voice. America was discovered by Columbus, which is in passive voice. Here the object of the active voice, America, becomes the subject in the passive voice. In the passive voice, the passive form of the verb should be made. Here the verb discovered has become was discovered. 
In the passive voice, the verb should be followed by by and doer. Here the verb discovered is followed by the word by and doer Columbus.